Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode 119 of ASA, my Q&A series where I answer your questions. As always, before I get into the questions, I just want to give a huge, massive thank you for the support in the last episode. Though it may not have done as good as some of the past episodes, I still want to give a massive thank you because it did still get views and likes and comments, so that's what's important. Anyways, now let's get into the questions, starting with Scott Davis, ASA, who is the most underrated character in Star Wars? Potatoes, thank you for the potatoes. It's a little different, but one character that comes to mind is Rose. And I personally don't think that that character deserves to be one of the most hated Star Wars characters ever. I know that's different from underrated. Now I'm going on about like people hating this character. I don't really understand why people hate Rose so much. I personally don't think she's that bad of a character. I only think that she's a bad character for the sense that she was written in a bad movie. Her actual character, in my opinion, isn't that bad. Obviously, that wasn't really your question, but there's your answer. Next question is from B Brick Abel. ASA, what do you buy on May the 4th? You're spending all my money! Oh man, I, I go into credit card debt pretty much every year, not really, on Lego Star Wars because, like, that's what you gotta do, right? Double VIP points and UCS sets, like, everything. It's, it's fantastic, right? But this year, honestly, was my best or worst, depending on how you want to look at it, year for buying Lego Star Wars. I'm gonna tell you everything I bought, but I want to, I want to point out real quick that I personally don't typically like to be like, look everyone look what I bought. I bought this and this and this and this and that because I just feel like it's kind of kind of jerky, honestly to be like, oh look at me, I'm able to buy all this stuff and I'm better than you. You know, I don't like when people do that personally. For the sake of answering the question in this video, I'm going to tell you what I bought and a part of me is going to feel guilty about doing it, but at the same time I'm very excited to be like, look, so maybe I'm a hypocrite, I don't know, but I got the Clone Commander, Cody Brickheads, the Phantom Menace Brickheads, Bark Speeder Escape, Darth Maul Sith Infiltrator, the Droidica Pod Racing Diorama, the UCS TIE Interceptor, and my all time favorite Lego Star Wars set probably ever is the UCS ATAT. -AT. I actually finally got that set. Now, sadly, it's not here as of right now because Lego done goofed somehow and they sent me the Rivendale set so from the Lord of the Rings, so I had to send it back. Now they're sending me the UCS ATAT, -AT, but I gotta wait until it's here and it might be like a year or whatever because you know how Lego takes forever to ship. So this was my best or worst depending on how you want to look at it because like it's like wow I, I got a lot of awesome Lego Star Wars sets but dang I spent a lot of money on all this crap you know. What? One hundred dollars? Well this can't possibly be correct. Oh my mistake sir. Thank you for pointing that out. This is your pill. <laughs> It's fantastic. I'm super blessed and I'm just super thankful to be able to have it all. And I'm very excited to build it all because as of right now when recording this video, I've only built about half the stuff. So yeah, I, I go in debt every year for May the 4th, but it's worth it. Next questions are from Mna and Hershey Animations. What did you think of the Bad Batch season finale and ASA Bad Batch finale? What did you think? So I'm going to talk about random things throughout this season. So fair warning, if you haven't seen the show for some reason, there will be some spoilers. So skip to this part of the video if you want to avoid the spoilers or if you just don't care then let's continue. All in all I thought the show was fantastic. Season 3 definitely my favorite season. I think that it just looked better than the other seasons. It just felt better. Pretty much every single episode had to do with the main story instead of filler episodes which I personally really liked that. But I feel like there was a lot of kind of kind of like missed opportunities within the show. The first one being the clone assassin. To me they spent so much time making you like, oh my gosh, who is this character? Just to kill him off and find out it was nobody. So I'm kind of sad that we didn't really get any special character out of the clone assassin. I'm also sad that we didn't see Commander Cody because in season two, at the end of that episode, he went AWOL and we haven't seen him since. And I want to know what happened to Cody. I, I love Cody, you know? So it's like, what happened to him? And I was really hoping to get that answered in the Bad Batch. And then like, what was the whole point of like the Xylo Beast? Like, obviously it was so Omega could kind of create like a different version, like a distraction, and release it and all this. And that was really cool, don't get me wrong. But it's kind of like, what was the point? What was the Empire doing with it? Obviously, they were trying to figure out how to, like, harness its skin or whatever. But then, like, the Xylo Beast escaped, and then it's like, okay, well... 
that's that. And then, of course, like, there's still a lot going on with, like, Rex and Echo. So we might get, like, another Star Wars show. So it's kind of kind of lame because this show kind of was more created, seems like, season three, just to be like, hey, we're going to make more Star Wars shows. I enjoyed season three. I just kind of feel like there was a couple missed opportunities or parts that were just kind of lame. But I, I did really enjoy it. And I was honestly hoping that Dr. Hemlock would die. I figured he would. And so I'm glad he did. I was just hoping that he would get at least eaten by the Zylo Beast or stepped on. I just thought that would be more fun. That was kind of rambly. Next question is from Crimson Toaster ASA. Favorite obscure Stormtrooper variant? Potatoes. Thank you for the potatoes. I think, I don't know if this counts, but I'm going to go with the Death Trooper because I absolutely love Death Troopers. They are just so cool. I love how when they talk like to each other because they scramble their comms so like the enemy can't listen to them. They just sound like static. It just sounds so cool. They look cool with those like glowing green lights at the bottom of their helmets they're like extra tall and mutated inside and everything and just cool like i love deaf troopers they're fantastic and the last question is from ace gamer studios should lego start making sequel sets after the 20th anniversary of episode three uh, i don't know I just think Lego should just make Lego Star Wars and that's that, you know, just random sets from every movie every year, you know, and it's fantastic. It's fun to spend all your money, isn't it? We're out of money! What? Rada? Anyways, that's going to do it for today's episode of ASA. Thank you all very much for watching. If you have a question or two for the next episode, leave it down below. Leave a like while you're down there. Consider subscribing if you're not. If you enjoyed my channel or whatever, blah, blah, blah. I talk too much, I know. If you want to check out the Bark Speeder Escape, I just recently did a short review on that, so you can check it out. It's like a minute long, so why not? It's available in the cards. Thanks again for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!